how to create a complete calendar in Excel for 2024. And whenever you create here a new appointment, let's say February 5th of 2024, as you guys can see in the calendar, I have automatically highlight of the date that corresponds to my appointment or the task, the thing that I need to do in this specific date. So it's a dynamic and interact calendar here in Excel where you can check all the dates of the year and also the day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and on and on. You can also check the date specifically, such as the month, the day, and the year, or the day, the month, and the year, okay, the specific date. And I also have here a highlight in the cells where you have an appointment or you have a task to do. So let's see how can we create this calendar here in Excel step by step from scratch with this appointment planner or this appointment schedule. Let's find it out step by step. Firstly, I want to wish you a happy new year. And secondly, we can go down here to the sheet one, right click, go rename and give it a name such as calendar. And then I want to start with creating the calendar itself before we create the planner, the schedule, let's say. And I want to leave here a couple of blank columns to the planner itself. Column A, B, C, and D. And in the column E, we can start with the calendar. Let's start with in the row, the third row, row, row number three. And here, I want to start with week space one, the first week of the year. And we all know that uh, the, the year has 52 weeks. So let me click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down to make sure Excel continues the sequence for me to until the week 52, like this, okay? Now we can come back here to the first cell and uh, in, the, in the cell above and to the right, cell F2, we can type in Monday because I know that uh, today is Monday, the day of the week, Monday. And also today is January 1st of 2024. So this is why I'm starting here with Monday. And if I do the same thing as before, click in the down right corner of the cell, but this time drag to the right, Excel can continue the sequence for me. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to Sunday. Okay, like this. I can also click in the cell F, G, H, to this, the, the column L, okay? And then in between one column and another, I can click hold and drag to the right just to make sure I evenly create the same size of the columns for all those columns and also increase the size a little bit. Now here in the first blank cell, just underneath the Monday and to the right of the week one, I can start with today's date, that is uh, January 1st of 2024. Enter. We can also change this format because instead of have here the year 2024. I already know that uh, this year is 2024, so maybe it's not that important to see the year. Uh, if you want to change the format, you can click in the cell and then go to, or better, we can do it later. I think it's, it's better because then we can select everything and change everything once. Tuesday is going to be in the cell of Tuesday, equal sign the previous date, add to one plus one, enter. Now I can click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag to the right, because that way Excel continues the function for me or the formula. Now in the week two, we're gonna have equal sign the cell above, add to one, or sorry, add to seven, right? Because seven days later, the next week, enter. Okay, let me again, in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag to the right. And basically we're done. Now with uh, this second, row here selected i can click in the down right corner of the cell click hold and drag down to the ending of my calendar that is here week 52. okay all right we're done here now we have all those dates that we need for the, the entire year let's check here the last date december 2019. okay maybe we need a couple of more days here so let's again select here the last row now we're going to need to use, instead of 52 weeks, 53. Let me click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down. And uh, yeah, we're done. December 30, 31st, and uh, that's it. I can read it off those dates here that uh, corresponds to the 2025. Select everything and then read it off. Delete. And yeah, we're done. 53 weeks. 2024 has. Now to make it uh, with a better look, let's say I can select here all the dates. Select here all the dates 
and click home tab date and i'm gonna change and use more numbers formats and here in the numbers i'm gonna use this option right here where i have only the day and the month and then i'm gonna click here okay and as you guys can see those dates now are in a shorter way now let me select here everything again and we're gonna make sure we can ally here in the home tab everything in the middle uh horizontally and uh, vertically i can select here now the, the headers home tab put everything in bold change let's say the, the font color to a white one and also change the background to the color that you like the most you can choose here the color i want to use a blue one maybe like this one yeah now i want to select the weeks to the ending of the week in a home tab making the same format so put a paint, paint the background with this bluish color change the font to a white one and put everything here in bold like this and i think we're done so this is our calendar here in excel but it's very important also to create the planner because with the planner i can input here a date and automatically the date that match with my appointment date let's say is going to be automatically highlighted for me and i can create it clicking the, the first column here column a let me reduce the size of this column a little bit maybe 2.0 and in the cell b2 i want to start with date the headers of course date and in the column c i want to input here name or description let's just stick with name okay let me increase those two columns a little bit maybe 15 yeah i'm gonna select here everything as the headers on tab put everything in bold uh, and use the same color as i used it before blue as the background and white as the font the first date that i can have here let's say uh, i have an appointment or a task to complete in january 10th of 2024 enter and the name of my appointment let's say task 001 enter now i already have the the date and also the task let me select both on tab and align the middle and uh, also vertically i want to highlight automatically the date that i have here january 10th so january 10th is here i want to highlight this date it's going to be yellow green red you name it you can use the color that you like the most but how can i do it unfortunately here in excel as we're gonna have here basically a list so let's say uh i'm gonna have again a date right here in the in the row underneath and then again an, a new date with a new appointment and again and again and again so my list can be a very large list and i want to highlight all those values that corresponds to the dates that i have in my list unfortunately excel in conditional formatting can't compare a range with a range because we are not comparing just one cell with a range. No, we're gonna compare a range with a range. And uh, unfortunately, Excel ain't got any functionality that can help us with that. But uh, we can create our own function or formula to create this conditional formatting and to highlight those dates that match with the dates that we have in the planner. So let's see. Uh, the thing that I want you to do is to use the VLOOKUP function because the VLOOKUP function can look up for the date that I have in my calendar, let's say for the first date and then for all the dates that I have, but we're gonna start with the first one and then we can we can cope and paste, it's pretty much easy to do. So we're gonna check if the first date in the calendar is equal to any date that we're gonna have here in the list, in the planner. If so, we're gonna have the date itself. If not, we're gonna have a arrow. And uh, that way we're gonna be able to use the conditional formatting. Let's start with the first step that is to select everything that i have here in the planner and uh, in the schedule and it's very important to have the header and also to have a row with some information it doesn't matter what you input in the second row but it needs to be a date and uh, maybe a text okay and uh, then select everything go to the insert tab table and here it's very important to check my table has headers of course has headers and then click ok and we're done with the first step that is to transform the schedule into a table because the table has some benefits such as whenever you input new rows the table is going to include it's going to append those new rows into the table itself so check this january 
15 of 2024. I'm going to press enter. And as you guys can see now, this new row right here is already be appended to the table itself. And if you want to read it off so this new row, you can select everything, right click, and then go to delete table rows. Okay, simple as that. Now let's go here to the function that we're going to use. In the column N, let's say we can use column N in the row 30 row because I want to use the same row as I have here the dates. So it needs to be this cell right here, cell N3, equal sign V lookup function. One, two to select. The lookup value that I want to use here in the first argument is going to be the January 1st of 2024, the first date that we have in the calendar. Okay, so select the first date. And then, comma, and the table array that I'm going to use to check if there is or not a match to this first date that we selected is going to be the, the entire column in the table that we have, the first date, the first column, date, and also the date itself, the header and the date. All right. So select here both rows. And then comma. The column index number is going to be one because I just have here one column that I'm using as the range. And then comma again, I want to use exact match. Double click here, one, two, and we're done. Let's close parentheses and then enter. We got an error, but I okay. Uh, it's correct. Let's click now in the direct right corner of the cell and drag this function to the ending of our calendar like this okay now with everything selected i can control c to cope and now in the next row i can control v to paste and again three four five six and seven yeah okay it's correct so we have here seven rows seven days of the week and as you can see here we have in between those arrows a date january 10th because this january 10th corresponds to the date that i have here and as you can see January 10th in the calendar is just right here. And uh, in our helper column, or with our helper functionality, let's say, January 10th is right in the same position. So it's like we have here a mirror. And now we can use conditional formatting to compare the range that we have here to the range that we have here. Or actually, to compare one cell to another cell. And uh, as we have a mirror, it's going to work. So let me select here now everything in the calendar, just the dates, okay? It's not exactly everything, but the dates uh, right here, okay? So I just select here everything in the dates. And I want you to click here now, Home tab, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cells Rules. And I want you to check if there is something equal to, let's say, that is equal to this first date that I have here. Just select this first cell right here. And it's very important to read it off the dollar sign because I don't want to fix this reference. I want to the reference move to the right and also move down to take all those cells. So let me read it off the dollar sign. Or to make it easier, you can manually type in equal sign in three. Okay, simple as that. And I want to highlight the cell with, let's say, a light head color or whatever. You can choose here the color. Let me click here now. Okay. And you're done. As you guys can see, now I have here January 10th uh, highlighted with this head wish color. And if you want, you can also click here in the column N to the column T, select everything, click, select everything, right click, and then hide columns like this. And that way you have here a more, let's say, clean look in the spreadsheet. And if I input here a new date, let's take, for example, January 19th. Let's see if we can highlight this date. So, uh, Mar March, okay, sorry, March 19 of 2024. And then I'm going to press enter. Look what's going to happen. We have a new highlight in the specific date because the function that we used before is helping us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how can we create a calendar for the year of 2024 with this schedule, this planner for our appointments, for our tasks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, because every day has a new video. So I see you there.